Welcome into Short Shifts with the Macon Mayhem. This weekend, the Mayhem went 2-0 against their cross-state rivals, the Columbus Cottonmouths. On Friday night, they traveled to Columbus and won 4-3 in a thriller, and then came back on Saturday night here at the Macon Coliseum and won 5-4 in overtime. Here's a review of this weekend's action. Shot deflected and score. Power play goal. Macon leads 1-0. Macon to work it back out. Again, trying to get Sicard. Breakaway shot. Scores. Denny Sicard. Has to hold up at the blue line. Now feeds the man. Shots. Wetmore. Score. 3-0. Snakes get his chance and a shot. Save Ruby. Rebound. Shot. Score. Snakes able to get on the board. Controlled. Terrell trying to shot, score! The new goal, stick handling, fire shot, scores! Tie game, 3-3, three, three. oh my! Trying to catch Summers, coming across, moved in, shoot, scores! Summer may have just broken everybody's heart in this building, and it's 4-3 making. That shot to Simchuk, out in front of the bat gate, the puck is loose in the buzzer. night. Underway, Guskov now to Sprags and Sprags scores. Trask gets it to Saul Keldon, back to Trask. Out front is Rivera and he wasn't able to get get the shot off and then he does. Sakard right out in front, now Trask with a shot and right out in front it goes in and Sakard puts it in. Opportunity now at Javeri and he gets it to Mark Rivera who shoots and scores. Mark Rivera uses his body but here's a chance for Bruce and he gets it over to his man and he shoots and he scores. And try to chip it around Jeff Sanders. He gets around Sanders and gets it to Sprags. He shoots and he scores. One on two opportunity. He shoots and he scores. Corey Tyrell with the long shot. Over but Echeverry keeps it in. A shot on net and Sicard scores! Dennis Sicard! On the rebound off of a point shot from Daniel Echeverry. Steven P. Rog. P. Rog gets it to Johnson in front. He shoots and he scores! Matt Johnson wins it in overtime for the Mayhem. I caught up with Daniel Gudge Gensler to talk about this weekend's action and how he got that infamous nickname, Gudge. Here with Daniel Gudge Gensler. Gudge, you guys took two from Columbus this weekend. What was working for you guys? Uh, yeah, you know, we had two big first periods, uh, three goals in each of those. Um, we kind of let them come back in. You know, they fought hard and battled back. They didn't quit. But uh, we came away with the wins, which was huge. Um, you know, they weren't the prettiest, but a win is a win, so we're happy. Yeah, and you guys talked about, or you talked about the two comebacks from Columbus. What happened in those uh, second and third periods that allowed them to come back? Uh, we just kind of let up a little bit, took our foot off the gas. Uh, you know, they started to make some plays, and, and, you know, we weren't working as hard in the second and third periods and let them get back in the game. All right, and uh, you've been uh, playing a lot of defense lately. What's, uh, what's the biggest adjustment you got to make between uh, going back uh, on the back end from forward? Uh, you're just reading the play differently. Um, back on D, you're, you're coming from up behind the play most of the time, so you got to you kind of see the ice a little more. Uh, forward is, is usually just go, go, go. Um, you know, you're hard on pucks first in the zone. Uh, D, you're kind of more patient, sit back, and, and you know, let the play develop a little bit. All right, one last question. Where's the, uh, where's the nickname Gudge come from? <laughs> uh, my dad and all his buddies uh, saw this movie when, when my mom was pregnant with me. Uh, it's called Winter People with uh, Kurt Russell. Uh, it's not the greatest movie, but there was a character named Gudger in it. And, uh, you know, they had T-shirts made that said, The Gudge Man Cometh and, and everything. And it just uh, a nickname that stuck with me forever. All right, thanks a lot, Daniel. Yeah. The Mayhem take on the Fayetteville Fire Ants this weekend at the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville. The Mayhem are 3-0-1 this season against the Fire Ants, including two wins in Fayetteville. Earlier this season, the Ants ended the Mayhem's 10-game winning streak here in the making Coliseum with a 3-2 shootout win over the Mayhem. The Fire Ants are coming off a loss to the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs, who ended their eight-game losing streak in that game. The Ants rank second in power play and penalty kill percentage, while the Mayhem rank first in power play percentage, but just seventh in penalty kill. Fayetteville forward Bobby Schmont enters this game riding a five-game point streak, so he's one of the players to watch out for this weekend.